Hello and welcome to the M7 Innovation Brief. I'm your host, Matt Marr, and yes, you might have noticed a new look, a new sound, and that's because I do have some exciting news to share with you over the coming weeks. But for now, you don't care about that. You care about the media tech and innovation news that's affecting your world, so let's discuss, and let's do it, that's right, in 60 seconds. Here we go. First up, Facebook announced Libra. A global cryptocurrency that runs on blockchain, is stabilized by being tied to a slew of international currencies, and has the backing and support of some of the biggest companies in the world. While Facebook doesn't control Libra, they do control Calibra, which they concurrently announced as their digital wallet where you can save, send, and spend Libra. Facebook being on both sides of the coin is the perfect amount of sketchiness that we expect from the tech giant. Microsoft wants to help you become a better public speaker and it's deploying an AI to whip you into shape. The presenter coach for PowerPoint will listen through your computer's microphone and give you tips on pacing, alert you when you're using filler words, and basically call you lazy if you just read the words on the slide. Once the little confidence you did have gets demoralized by a robot, there is nowhere to go but up. Last week, we talked about Quibi the short-form video service who's landing some big directors like Spielberg and Del Toro. Well, they just announced at Cannes that they've already booked $100 million in advertising from major brands like P&G, Pepsi, Anheuser-Busch, Walmart, and Google. Quibi doesn't even launch until 2020, and while the world and consumers did not ask for yet another streaming service, these major brands being on board means they are heavily vested in the success of Quibi. Well, that's all the time that we have for the M7 Innovation Brief. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.